Okay, now I want to explain more about signal path and give you a demonstration of how it works. So we're going to go back here to our edit window. And here I've got a track with vocals called Lead Vox, for lead vocal. I'll play the vocal back. Yeah, boy. That's the first part. And there's a second one coming up here. Ooh, no, where, where, where. And so we've got more vocals going on there. So we have two tracks, a lead and a master. We go back to the mix window now. Now here in the mix window, we can see the insert right here. And so the vocal's there, but it comes to these inserts first before you hear it. So we're going through an EQ first and insert A. Insert B, we've got a dynamic, a compressor and a limiter right there. Next, we have another EQ, a one band. Below that, we've got a de -esser. Get rid of the S's and the hisses. And to get it real tight, we have a gate also as well. And once it comes through all five of these plugins, we hear it here at the fader. Yeah, boy. And some automation is written, as you can see right there. Ooh, the fader goes up and down. No, it's automated well, well, well. for the mix. Now next, we're going to add an auxiliary and look at the I.O. setup. Okay, so we're going to go here and look at the I.O. setup right here. We're going to set up and we go to I.O. So currently I've got an input and an output and I've got the output as my main out. And we're hearing the vocals from that track that's being sent to the main out. I also have bus assignments in here as well. And these are bus paths. Now I'll close this for now. And I want to go here in my insert. And I want to add a bus path. So I'm going to go right here, menu A, and go to here, bus 1 and 2. So I want to make a stereo bus right here. The signal's mono, but I want to send a stereo bus. And when you do that, we get this pop-out fader, as you can see right here. It says send A, we got bus 1 and 2, it's safe, pre, and we got FMP right there. Got a fader, of course, our levels for the fader, right here. And of course, this is for our panning. And we can solo it, of course. This is a solo button, no, this is solo for the track. So this track there, we can solo that track. And we can add automation, so I can see that. Now, I'm gonna create a brand new track. I wanna create a stereo auxiliary track. And we got it. Now I've created an auxiliary stereo track and what I want to do now is create an input for it. So I already have a bus assignment. And this bus assignment is a send. So I'm sending this signal to someplace else. I want to send that signal to here, to this auxiliary track. I'm going to go here to bus. We're going to go to bus menu A. I'm going to go right up here to where it says 1 and 2. Now they're both the same, right? And then what I want to do, I'm going to put some sort of plug in here. So I'm going to put something in here we can actually tell if something's going on. We're going to put a reverb in here. I'll add the deverb real quickly. And here's my deverb. I'm going to pick a quick factory reset. I'll go with a focal plate, slow ballad, and keep that in there. Now, I'm going to play it back. Yeah, boy. Open this bus up, and we can see the signal flow is right here Ooh, in this track. No, well, well, well. And you can see that we sent that signal from this send into this auxiliary, and then it picked up the reverb. Because the reverb's right there. So it's going in here, and it's going through the reverb, and it's being heard right here. So I play it back. Yeah, no reverb, 
with reverb. So you see, this is the dry side, this lead vocal. The wet one is reverb. And I'll label this reverb. It's called verb for short. And they're both going to the main out. <laughs> 